good morning hope you guys are doing great um happy is it tbt they call it throwback thursday so i don't usually celebrate all of that kind of throwback thursday whatever but if i'm gonna throw back on this thursday i'm gonna throw back to last week thursday when i i think i ate something i had been craving for a long time that's going to be my tbt so if you care to share yours kindly drop it in the comment section below and um so basically guys this video is just going to be a fun fun video but before i continue let me first of all welcome you guys to my youtube channel again um this is frankly speaking with glory as usual and my name is glory elijah as you already know um so guys there is no baby ninja just today because um if you've noticed the house has been inactive sort of a lot hasn't really been going on the housemates have been chilling biggie hasn't been really really stressing them out nothing really is going on basically and um <clears throat> the housemates are just anticipating on sunday when the winner will be crowned can you go faster than this can you go faster than this okay so um the housemates are anticipating when the winner will be crowned that's on sunday so they've been sleeping chilling gisting playing dancing drinking eating as usual doing all the laid back thing that any laid back human being can ever do but <clears throat> i decided to spice up today so that you guys will not be bored as well and today's title is which bb niger housemate are you yes i am so many bb niger housemates i'm talking about bb niger 2019 pepper them gang housemates so which of them are you i have like um three that i can totally totally relate with like should i say like 80 percent so i'm gonna share them with you and then in the comment section below guys please share with me the bb niger pepper them gang housemate that you can relate with like a hundred percent so the first person i'm gonna start with is kathy um kathy is actually not my favorite housemate i actually just love her spirit i love her vibe you see the way kathy is always happy you know she's always very energetic that is just me that is just my kind of person i can totally relate with that i'm the sort of person that i easily easily shy away from negativity especially people that comes around with toxic energy you know when pe some people are just naturally angry some people are just naturally born angry you know so when such people come around me i don't know how to chase them away so what i just do is you know what they say kill them with kindness kill them with love <laughs> that's just what i like doing and i feel like that's the sort of person kathy is kathy is going to suffocate you with love she's going to suffocate you with so much happiness and joy and then at some point you're going to be asking yourself like why am i even upset in the first place so for kathy i can relate with her personality in the house a hundred percent i don't know if that is how she is in the real world but in biggest house while she was there i could definitely relate with her another person that oh another thing i could also relate with or i can also relate with in cafe is her presenting skills my gosh i enjoy watching cafe talk cafe is one of those housemates that i don't ever get bored watching i love the way she talks um i love the way she uses words i love the way she's very very expressive i love the way she presents my god guys i don't know probably it's because i'm also into youtubing and she's also into youtubing or because she's a born presenter but basically the things that she does verbally you know expressively i i just totally totally love that and i can absolutely relate with that so if you're gonna ask me which baby ninja housemate i am the first one is gonna be kathy um the second baby ninja housemate that i can tell you that i am is she now take away all the bad attitude that she has all the pride the arrogance the gossip the the annoying i am a king you are a peasant attitude please i am not that way um the part of shay that i can totally relate with is his creative mind my gosh she is so creative guys like i can't even deal i can't even quantify the the like 
I can't, guys. I can't even measure it. She is so creative. She is one of those people that B gives them a task and then she just automatically, boom, he comes up with something mind-blowing. One of those creative pieces that he created in the house that I will never, ever forget in a hurry was um, Shituga. The play that he did with his um, the icons team, guys. The day I watched that presentation, I had goosebumps all over my body. I just could not deal. I just could not imagine how just one individual was able to put so much energy and emotion and feeling and soul into narration and biggie even had to acknowledge his strength of oratory and guys that is something that i am very very good at doing as well i told you guys that um i am a writer yeah i am a writer and if you want to see my my works if you want to see my my write-ups um visit my website at www.franklyspeakingwithglory.com i have um, a page on my website where it's called fswg series i write short stories and um short stories yeah short stories and i write them in form of episodes so i have about four stories there two stories are completed there's the last 12 days of xmas there's bunt there's um what they call it um uh, no, not what do they call it, what did I name it? There's the moguls and there's also memoirs of Pisces. I'm actually Piscean, by the way. So guys, um, in terms of creativity, I can totally, definitely relate with Shay. Shay's mind is absolutely abso awesome. And one thing I know for sure is that brands are definitely waiting out here in the real world for she. Yeah, there are tons and tons of brands that are waiting for she. One of those brands that I'm very, very certain is going to be working with she is Heritage Bank. Um, I know for sure that they will definitely want to work with she. So um, basically, guys, if you are talking about a BB Niger 2019 Pepper Them Gang housemate that I can definitely relate with, or you can say that, oh, I see this part of this person and I see glory, it's that creative part of she. And also, I heard that she is also from Akwa Ibom State or Calabar. I don't know, but also, I think we sort of have like a sort of um, um, relation over there because I am from that area as well. Um, which other housemate can I relate with? Uh, I am thinking, I am thinking, which other housemate, which other housemate, which other housemate? Um, should I say, <clears throat> I don't want to call, uh, which other person, which other, okay, let me say Tacha, yeah, Tacha. Um, this one, I know that all of you that have been dying to, to put me on on a platter and chop me off chop my head chop my head on the chopping block and all of you will come for me but then like i said about she the part of tacha that like shouting and uh, uh, i am not that i beg i don't even have that kind of energy i beg but the side of tacha that i can definitely relate with is that part that doesn't know how to hold grudges I am that person seriously I am that person I don't know how to hold grudges I don't even like gossip the guys the way I hate gossip and the way I run away from gossip Jesus Christ if you just carry somebody's matter and come to me the moment I perceive that you are going to talk about something about someone and you haven't had that conversation with that person first of all I'm just gonna disappear from your sights yeah because for me I feel like the way you gossip someone to me that's the exact same way you would definitely discuss me or gossip me to that same person or some other people so if you're the sort of person that is very comfortable with carrying people's words around then i am not safe with you i do not feel like you're a person of integrity at all so um i definitely shy away from people like that so you see that part of tacha that would rather confront you face on than have a conversation about you behind your back I that is just me. I don't I don't I detest that attitude. I feel it's very very disgusting. So you see that part of Tacha, I definitely definitely relate with that. Yeah. So um that's that for Tacha. I can relate with that aspect of her life. Um who else can I relate with? Uh which who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, let me say Esther. <laughs> I know you guys are laughing right now. Yes, I let me say Esther. Now, the reason I say I can definitely relate with Esther is because um, let's forget about the part that Esther was very, very bitter when she was in the house. This one, I won't even lie. Um, Esther was one of those housemates that 
Honestly speaking, I was seriously looking forward to her leaving the house. I will not miss words on this one. I was looking forward to her leaving the house because babe was just so bitter. Unnecessarily bitter. She was bitter about everything, everybody, every situation. Jesus Christ. Like, it was so overbearing to the point that the day she left, a lot of people were so excited. Yeah, aside the way she treated fraud unfairly, you know, with Nelson cutting that love or crush or um, obsessive triangle, you know, a lot of people were really, really excited that she was evicted from the house. But the part of her that I am very, very relatable with is the part of her that is very, very assertive. Esther is a very, very assertive individual and I wouldn't want to say that that comes from her being a lawyer but i think that's her being um a strong woman that cannot shrink for some other person to shine she's that person i see that um would rather speak her mind than you know keep quiet about it but i wish she did that the whole of the show anyways because babe was just most of the time caught up in gossips the only time that you see her being very assertive is whenever they have a group task or a presentation and she will ensure that she stands ground, that she's very assertive and most of the time um they get things done so that part of her that's very assertive that gets things done that's the part that i can relate with not the bitter angry um um, vindictive to some extent gosh guys don't don't come from my head i beg but i'm just saying what i saw in her character in the house i don't know if that's how she is in the real world um so that's that for esther and which other housemates can i relate with um which other housemate or oh, which other housemate which other housemate I don't know if there's another housemate. I don't know if there's another housemate. But basically, guys, those are the housemates that I can think from the top of my head that I can definitely relate with. They have some um, character traits that I can definitely say that, okay, I see myself doing this. This is me. Mind you, guys, I am not a perfect human. I am just listing out this um, housemates because I feel like um whatever they portrayed in biggest house this is something that i can definitely do and everybody has their own part of um their lives that they shy away from the world from sea and to see everybody has that part of them that they definitely hide their ugly side i have my ugly side as well and i do not hope that people get to see my ugly side because the day i saw my ugly side i did not believe that that was me i just disowned myself on that day i told myself glory this is not bloody you i am not taking this part of you back home so i had to disown that my ugly side so everybody has an ugly side but then you see those other sides i feel like that's the part of my life that i can definitely see in this house space so guys i've asked you guys a question of this video from the beginning of this video which bb niger 2019 pepper them gang housemates can you totally relate with which bb niger housemates are you um name the housemates that you can totally relate with and give us at least one or two examples of what the person has done or what the person does in the house or did in the house that you know we should liken you as well to and basically that's it guys remember um like i said in my previous videos the show ends on sunday but that is not the end of frankly speaking with glory as well i'm going to be giving you guys lots and lots of interesting topics and lots and lots of gist to talk about so guys don't forget to stay tuned to my channel um if there's anything interesting that's happening this evening i'll definitely give you guys the updates nothing so far happened yesterday night so I just decided to just brush it off so guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel please don't forget if this is your first time seeing my face if you are new to my channel please um click on the red subscribe button to become a part of this family and also if you want to join the notification gang you know those people that are always first to get alerts of my videos just click on the white bell button and that is called the post notification bell and you will definitely definitely always get alerts of my videos thank you guys so much for watching i look forward to reading your comments and replying your comments in the comment section below because i know that this is going to be very very hilarious um see you guys much later in my next video have a nice day guys bye